Hey YouTube, what's up? It's Brent here. This is my first review. I'm going to be doing the SOG Trident Black T-I-N-I -I, model TF1. Here it is right here. You can see it says SOG right there. Try and get a close up right there. SOG Trident. Alright. Blade length 3.75 inches. Overall length eight and a half inches. Weight is three point six ounces. It's a pretty good heft to it. It's pretty good though. Blade is partially serrated. As you can see. Pretty sharp. I've already cut myself on it once. Blade material is stainless steel AUS eight. Handle is black zidal with groove. It's a little uh little diamond checkering. It's good and grippy. Not too bad. Not not too raised, but it's just good, just enough to get a good real good grip on it. Very sturdy. Finish on the blade is hard cased black T I N I, which is I can't I'm blanking on the uh titanium nitride is what comes to mind when I say it. That's what I think it is. Retail price for it is hundred and ten dollars, but like with everything you can shop around and get it for cheaper. I got this one for eighty dollars at my local tactical gear store alright so alright as you can see it's got ambidextrous thumb stud on the blade All right here's the safety for it flick it down can't open flick it up you see red there it goes got the SOG assisted technology which is a uh, spring assist you have to open the blade and once it feels you start opening it it'll flick it open the rest of the way one of the cool things that I really like about this knife is the paracord cutter right here it's got a little you can cut paracord with it let me I'll get you some actually Got a little 550 cord here. And it wants to be a dick. Make sure the safety is in place so when you pull through it doesn't make it a... Uh... There we go. One of the problems, as you could kind of see here, it's a little bit tough to pull the, the 550 cord through when this thing is right here. And it shouldn't, because the blade obviously is supposed to cut it through there, but when I've been doing it through, that just seems it, it seems to get hang up on there a little bit. I might take the blade clip off, or the, uh, the pocket clip off, but for some reason nothing works as good in, in demonstration as it does when uh, you're sitting at home alone, and it, was, it cuts really good. really sharp. Alright, this is the arc actuator, which is SOG's new safety. Just gotta pull it down, close the blade. Now, a lot of other people that have reviewed this knife talk about this thing. The arc actuator is really loose. It kind of flops around like that when it's in your pocket. And then when it opens up, a little bit of play left. I saw another knife, or a, uh, another review where a guy, uh, Took his knife apart and bent the spring a little bit. So I plan on doing it. I just haven't done it yet. And the real problem, I don't think it's going to be a, a problem with right hand, righties. Open it up this way. But I'm left-handed, so I open up my blades this way. And see, when you open it, my finger gets right there. And one thing I've noticed is, one thing I've noticed is when I open it, sometimes my finger will block that when it moves. You see, when it moves, it moves it over. So sometimes my finger will get in the way and kind of slow the blade down. 
So I got to adjust my grip. But overall, I've been carrying this knife every day for about a week now. Oh, the uh, the clip is reversible. Just take out that little hex key right there, hex hex uh, screw. It'll come out. You slip it on the other. It's got a little lanyard hold here. Overall, I love this knife. I lo I, I like all of SOG stuff. So as you can see, I got a SOG Flash 2 and a SOG Power Power Tool and a uh, SOG Seal Pup. I'll probably do reviews on those later. But yeah, I've been carrying this for a while. For about a week now, and I love it. It's got a, it's a good size, good size to it. I got small hands, dainty hands, but fits in my pocket good. Don't really notice the weight, but very good knife. It's probably gonna go on my flak jacket soon. So, all right, it's been Brent. Haven't come up with a good signature line yet, so like I said, this is my first review. Hope you all like it. See you later.